namaste. Peace, love, and light. Today, I'd like to talk about the heart and the love frequency. Oh, beautiful. And with us today, we have this beautiful rose flower, which has got our pink color and yellows, and it's beautiful, and it's actually called Love and Peace. Awesome. And then this cool picture, peace. It's got our geometric strong shape of the triangle. It's got our auric protective shield and balancing and aligning all our chakras. Super neat. The wind may blow that down, but that's all right. And we have this beautiful rose quartz crystal. So I just did a meditation with this on my heart to channel this video uh, to talk about the heart energy. So thank you so much for being here. So the love frequency, um, some interesting inspirational things came up today and it was inspired with this interaction with my husband and I today on um, kind of changing our routine in the morning instead of getting up and talking about all the mental stuff and going through the checklist and, and all this stuff. I'm finding that that is overwhelming my energetic field. And uh, the reason is I'm a very heart-centered person that is just naturally uh, easy for me. So um, some would say, oh, that's just easy for you. But honestly, it took a lot of work to get it back after shutting off. So um, we have certain conditionings to like, going to school to working a lot of stuff is based from the mind and the to do to do to do we need to do this is our list let's do it this is expected of you this to do um and there's not a lot of teachings on just being the essence of and how intelligent being loved really is so it got inspired when my husband mentioned this um you know like getting out of the mind this sort of fear where if like for example and probably coming for me but if i see this flower and it brings me joy and i feel heart energy i'll be like oh you sweet love oh, you're so beautiful you know and i get oh god oh, 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 and all this like you know not even full sentences or words i mean you're just in this energy where you're like oh i love you i love you so much which is really, really sweet. But for an intellectual, they'd be like, oh my goodness, my brain will stop working if I, if I act like that, you know? Which is funny, because I've never thought about this concept, but that's where heart energy and compassion. So we can understand where the other person is coming from and where we're coming from so we can find a happy medium. So I was inspired to state that it's actually, um, very intelligent to tap into love energy in your heart frequency and the reason is when you open this channel of energy or portal it connects you for higher intelligence higher intelligence to come through which makes you smarter instead of running from the autopilot monkey mind list to do when you get in that even though it seems silly that frequency you're like oh da, 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 these beautiful flowers or plants or animals or you want to go hug a tree not only is that grounding it also opens your heart energy so it's easier to things you need to do uh, things to be to achieve opening your heart uh be in forgiveness be in acceptance and be in the allowing of receiving and in and in this essence of being your heart energy is safe open grounded and ready for love which is brilliant because like you can bring in high intelligent energy so that's where, you know, wisdom can come through. 
that's where solutions can come through. When we're feeling that all inspired, all loving, we don't remember what was that, like our expe expectations that are not being met, our things we experience that we need to, you know, mentally resolve, figure out and solve. They kind of naturally dissolve themselves in that energy. So I was just sitting with it and it was like so easy for me to let go of so much today in this meditation, just holding the rose quartz. So I was gonna say, it's just, if you're visual, it's good to use a little bit of a color to bring into your org field. Um, so I was inspired while I was meditating, I was getting a little bit of downloads on using the color to bring in the frequency. Um, I know normally you see the chakra, you know, I think green is heart energy, which is fine because if you look at the plant, it also has green on it. But using the color pink is what I was told. And rose quartz crystals is actually good for love frequency. So, I mean, it makes sense. So I was putting this on my heart and just imagining uh, the orb of light of pink coming through and washing any doubts, fears, anxieties, things that need to be let go of, asking to receive forgiveness for self and others, um, and to receive the gifts from God or the, the all essence of being in oneness with the holiness of just beautifulness <laughs> of, of being centered in love um, because love is such a strong frequency and it is very very smart to tap into that it is very very smart but it was just funny and it inspired this video to think that someone actually may be thinking that they will lose their intelligence or their mind will literally stop working if they come from love frequency where the opposite is true in love frequency when your heart is open and all your past traumas and all your past stories are diminished and centered and forgiven and let go of when you open that heart then a greater intelligence comes through that's um where you know inventive energy creative energy can flow where you can transmute where you can clear where you can ground where you're not like your head is clear you can meditate better so just, just thinking like uh, how to clear the mind to get into the heart energy, I just held this pink stone and just thought pink and just thought forgiveness. So forgiveness, acceptance, accepting it's okay. We had to go through what we had to go through to have a breakthrough. And in this case, this would be in our relationship where, uh, you know, one's wanting to talk mental, one's wanting to talk heart, one's afraid that... Um, if they get too hard, then their brain will shut off and, you know, I'm not saying word for word the exact experience, but just kind of the energy I'm taking off from it. And then the other one's like, if I don't express how important love is, we'll miss love. You know, both are fear and both are um, basically ignorance, just humbly say so. And so in the middle here, we realize that in forgiveness, you know, forgiveness allows like understanding and then acceptance well forgiveness actually allows clearing excuse me and then acceptance allows understanding so accepting okay now that we're talking about this in a, in a more centered energy i didn't realize this person was going through this where the other is like oh well that's why it seems like she's up is because she wants to reach on a hard energy and the other one's like oh this person's afraid if they reach on the hard energy that the mind will shut up so oh okay well let me just let you know that when you open the heart energy, a higher intelligence comes through. So if you ever notice, like, in the essence of being loved, you feel better, you get inspired, you think clearer, you know more, you're more in tune to your intuition, you make better choices. You're like, so let's just start with uh, self-care and love. You know, you're like, wow, um, you start choosing to eat organic food, uh, you know, and put down not uh, G GMO food and processed food. And let's say you make this change because you love your body and you want to take care of your body. You start to feel all inspired. Then you're like, whoa, my, my digestive system's working great. My brain clog, excuse me, brain clog, brain fog is clearing up and I feel smarter. But mostly I feel happier. I feel joy. I feel love for myself and the same thing when you're exercising and you take care of your body you start to actually feel really good this is all hard frequency energy which is very intelligent things to do 
end coming in and like let's say uh incident happens at work or something and this is not even coming from something personal i'm just throwing it out there let's say there's a confrontation of energy out at work and when you go and meditate on that it could be with the rose quartz crystal it could be by rose flowers it could be just with imagining the color uh pink or it could just be literally so grounded that you could just center on your heart and you think i choose to forgive this I choose to accept this lesson, let it transform to a blessing, and I choose to accept and allow solutions to come in. Then you find that miracles start happening. Your work starts transforming. You get promoted. I don't know, someone that didn't notice you before starts noticing you. Just taking that initiative to take the time to center the heart and open that heart energy can make a world of intelligent difference because miracles can happen, which transcends all limitation. So therefore you're bringing in a high frequency of energy into what needs love to heal. And in that healing, we'll raise the vibration, which allows for solutions to come in and greater awareness and wisdom, which is why that makes that intelligent. So don't be afraid that if you, I don't know, want to go snuggle with your cat, and you're like, I don't know why, but this just helps me feel better. It's because it opens your heart. Or I'm not sure cats really like snuggling. Maybe some are different. Um, I said your dog, your, your whatever, your bird, your plants, you know, or you like uh, hanging out with your kids or, you know, where you just get out of that to do and you get into that being. So instead of like, I have to uh, make the dinner to feed my kids, I have to uh, work to provide for my kids, I have to do, I have to do. And I'm used, you know, that because I, I also parent. So, but I noticed that I love being with my son. And so like last weekend, I was like, enough with this doing, like don't, you know, you don't have to, both of you can just eat when you're hungry, and I was going to try to make dinner and do and, and try and all this stuff, but then I just was like, stop trying, stop doing, just be, and listening to my heart energy, my body's like, you're very tired from working all week this week. Plus, we started this YouTube channel, so we uh, there's a lot of starting as far as, you know, my husband's doing all the editing, and he's doing all the, um, as you'll see, little funny uh, animations he'll be adding in and all that. So this is actually a team effort. And then my son is also involved. So I told him, you're also part of the mysticals because this is a love frequency of energy where we want to uh, share for the collective for humanity. And, and it, it's a calling that we're answering. So I'm like, son, you're also a part of this beautiful energy together. So uh, there's a whole team here that's a part of this whole channel so though um on and you'll see their faces pop in from here and there you know hopefully and, and most likely um but just seeing i'm not the only one involved in this frequency this love frequency is actually calling for our family as we reach out to humanity and to talk about different topics that you know i'm i may be the one channeling information but they may also feel a challenge and, and and be inspired to be in the essence of and come on uh visually but i just wanted to give a shout out in love that i appreciate all the editing work uh and animations and my son and um you know he just he's a very strong uh which is what i'm getting to here why i brought him in he's a very strong frequency of love for me because that's just the unit that we share is based on love and the same thing with my husband so a lot of this energy is based on love and so we pushed it to the next level we started this channel we were also working other jobs we're also uh parenting we're also doing a lot of stuff so my body's like you're doing you're doing you're doing and I laid a yoga mat outside. I asked my son if he could come play outside on the deck. So he grabbed his Legos. Mommy's gonna lay down on the yoga mat and just be. And we just were together. I wanted to be with him without doing, which was the exercises that I'm sharing, is just being with your kids. It is so healing for both of you. Being with your loved ones, being with your animals, being with your plants being with your situation in a loving, forgiving, understanding, compassionate nature is very freeing for your heart, which allows, uh, well, it allows you to go to more of the alpha state too and the relaxed state. 
so it kind of you know the head we can get into this um, certain frequency that actually pumps our adrenals and all this stuff and gets us in the you know the adrenaline of having to do we're just the essence of being can uh, rejuvenate the energy so and I know I want to spend time with him I know that we would like to be in activities together uh, but I but I knew by listening to my body that I just wanted to be with him in an alpha state without doing for him so I could be with him in love. So I laid down on the yoga mat. I wasn't planning on taking a little short nap, but it sort of just naturally went to existence. And he was so well behaved and he just played with his Legos right next to me and created uh, little characters and did all really cool things. And then was inspired, of course, to do his own video on it, which was real cute. Um, but I laid there letting my body just be the energy built up I woke up and felt so much love first of all sleeping outside next being with my son and a good vibe just brought up my energy because I mean I was like like very tired feeling even at work I'm you know they're like uh I work with an empath as well and so she's like like whoa I'm like yeah I'm don't take my energy I'm very sleepy <laughs> please it won't help anyone if we were both like this you know so, so just joking around and so I tried to eat something to rebuild it but I realized I just wanted to be with my son without doing so that was fun and so basically being in the love frequency so I laid there I let the energy uh, the energy of solution came in so this was really smart now my mind might think it's not very smart you're not gonna get nothing done if you lay down listen to that listen to how sharp that is and how intense that is and how the heart probably compresses and comes in if you don't you're not gonna get anything done you're not gonna be proactive you're gonna be lazy da, 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 da. and look at all the things that the mind um, untamed without the heart energy can go into a place that is very destructive so instead I'm like I choose to let the love energy come through and this is why it's intelligent because by resting in that that choice set and the intention was set so Sebastian my son naturally just went with it because I wasn't indecisive I was 100% clear on being with him in a restful energy so we did this for an hour my energy shot up. When I woke up, I felt great. I felt amazing. Um, and then it was like, I'm not gonna, you know, do anything. Let's just see how this flows. And so he was ready to go get dinner. So he's like, Mom, can we go for a walk? And walk to go get food. So he wanted to exercise, communicate, be together, and then go eat together. So I thought, well, that's beautiful because then I don't have to do anything and I'm just being with him. This is exactly what we were going for. So all the solutions came in. Um, so because we're, you know, being in an activity by walking it is where we get to both express a lot. We have fun. And I, I noticed my energy went up and I started getting silly and we were singing songs. We actually went this Native American trance and out thing and just being fun with it. And we were being together in the most loving energy. And same thing uh, with my husband and I today, when we came to that uh, clearing where it's like actually going into your heart energy brings in higher intelligence, there's nothing to be afraid of about losing your mind, uh, like uh, losing your brain capacities, whatever, it actually increases them. So with my body going to the alpha state, it brought in a more relaxed energy, which actually helped me be with my son or be with my husband in the love frequency or be in the work energy in a love frequency so having the heart open brings in higher intelligence so working on forgiveness into acceptance and into allowing receiving so I forgave myself for pushing hard I accepted that my body was tired and I allowed myself to get rest for higher solutions to come in and that's just a practical example you can take it however it works in in your life situations everyone has different circumstances but in this circumstance just just in the family life because I mean a lot of times I find that 
in the spiritual community, it's easier for my, you know, to express myself or like at work or people that are tapped into dimensional high vibrational energy. And we all are even in this family. But, but sometimes when we get in our most intimate settings with our families, friends, loved ones, children, that's where the real work is sometimes. That's where uh, affecting humanity on a greater level actually happens in that love frequency of in you. And then the closest outer reflection to the next outer reflection to the next outer reflection. So actually being in peace, peace and love with yourself and with your internal family, then therefore spirals out and you're in peace and love with everybody, which we are everybody. So we learn how to really love when we forgive, accept, and allow. So thank you so much for being here. I hope that you feel inspired to open heart energy and experience how brilliant that really is. Thank you so much for being here. Love, peace, and joy, and many blessings to you.